We took the multiplication circle from the back of our geometry cards and decided to make a board where you can move the numbers yourself. That way your child can practice putting them in the correct places. So if you're working on your fours to get counting, you would put four in the center, one through 10 in the middle ring, and then your fours on the outer ring. And the child is then counting four, eight, 12, 16. But it's multiplication when you move outward, four times three is 12, four times six is 24. It's division when you move inward. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 32 divided by 8 is 4. You can change this number anytime you want. If we're going to work on our twos, we would put that there. And then you would use all of the orange coins from the multiplication set. I've already put some on here, so I can just move these out of the way. And now your child is going to be going 2 times 1 is 2, or skip counting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And that way they are practicing all of that goodness. Um, if you have a younger child, they're just focused on that outer ring. If you have older children, you can make it challenging and mix all of these up. Maybe give them a timer and see how quickly they can put all of the ones in the right spots. So now we're using the board to do simple reading. We used the alphabet coins and put a consonant in the center, vowels in the middle ring, and more consonants on the outer ring. And the child is going to practice reading from the inside to the outside. Bed, big, bow, bun, bar. One more idea I had for the board is to use it to do mandala designs, which is just really fun. You give your child a lot of different loose parts to play with. We have some acorns that we brought in and some dry food from the kitchen. 